Okay. So, Holly, Ty, Kenji, and Nate are all eligible to be officers in the Honor Society. Two of the four students will be chosen at random to be president and vice president. So, these are the only possible ways they can get an office. Holly could get president and Tia vice president, or Holly could get president Kenji vice president, or Holly could get president Nate vice president, or Tia could get president and Holly could get vice president, and so on. Okay? How many different possibilities are up here for getting elected? 12 possibilities. Okay? So there's 12 possibilities. Now, Holly wants to be an officer with her best friend Tia. How many outcomes do we have a Holly and a Tia combination where they're both officers? Two out of 12. Okay. Two out of 12. And so you got a one out of six chance of having a Holly Tia combination for being an officer. Okay. Now, how many outcomes show Holly as president and Tia as vice president? One out of the 12, okay? This is the only one that shows Holly as president, Tia as vice president. This one shows Tia as president, Holly as vice president, okay? So there's only one. So here, the order that they get chosen is important. Here, just being an officer and calling it good, order is not important, okay? So, when order in, is not important, it's called a combination, and we'll get to that a little later. When order is important, it's called a permutation, okay? So, when the order is important, it's a permutation, okay, of certain people getting certain offices. When it doesn't matter who gets what office, it's a combination, okay? Okay. So, not worrying about that right now. Let's just look at the car Mrs. Garcia is buying has a choice of three trim lines. So, she could get the standard trim, the sports trim, or the luxury trim. Okay? Now, of those, there's two types of transmissions. She could get a manual or an automatic. And then she could get it in eight different colors. But let's worry about these first two things first. If you have three trim packages and two types of transmissions, how many different combinations does she have right now? How many different combinations of things does she have right now? Six. She could get standard with manual, standard with automatics. Uh, sport with manual, sport with automatic. Luxury with manual, luxury with automatic. So there's six different ways, okay? Now, if you put another eight things coming off of each of these, and then eight off of this one, eight off of this one, how many different options would you have then? A lot. It's too hard to count. But if there's three and two and we got six, what do we do with three and two to make six? multiplied. So if we take 3 times 2 times 8, how many options are there? 48 options. She has 48 different options, okay, for that type of vehicle. All right, so finding total numbers of options is important with this today too. All right, Gabriella is making a playlist where there are three favorite songs. How many possible orders are there for the three songs? Now, you have song A, song B, and song C. So, if they go in the order of A, B, C, that's one order. Or you could go A and then C, B. That's another order. 
Or you could start with B and then go AC. Or you could start with B and go CA. Or you could start with C and go AB or go C and then how many different combinations are there? Six combinations of those. Six combinations. So what happens is the first song she chooses, she has three choices, A, B, and C. So she has three choices here. And then once she makes a choice, then she's down to two choices. And then she's down to one choice. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. So a factorial is a positive integer n, which is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. Okay? So we're basically multiplying there. Okay? So this is a vocab word. So on your vocab sheets, Factorial, a positive integer n is a product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. Now we use factorials when we do permutations and combinations. A permutation is an arrangement of objects in a specific order. A permutation is an arrangement of objects in a specific order. Now, get out your calculators, please, because you cannot do this without a calculator. All right, so we're ready to go. Now, Gabriella wants to get a little more complicated with her song list. She wants to make another playlist with her five, eight, five of her artist's eight most popular songs. Okay, how many different playlists are possible? So she's going to make a playlist with five songs, and she's got eight possibilities. So this is way too many for you to write out and count out, okay? So is the order important that the songs go in? Well, up here, it mattered whether A was first or B was first or C was first to get the six total combinations, right? So when you're doing a song playlist that certain things happen in certain orders, order is important, so it's a permutation. So it's going to be... 8 permutation 5. What does that mean? Well, it's going to be 8 factorial over 8 minus 5 factorial. Or 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over, what's 8 minus 5? 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1. Well, the 3 times 2 times 1s, they can cancel out from each other. So on your calculator, you take 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. What's 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4? That's a lot of combinations for you to write out if you had to write them out. That's why we use a calculator. But guess what? If you have one of these TI calculators... There's some buttons that'll help you out, okay? You have a probability button, okay? If you go where the second key is, down one and over one, do you see PRB? So if you go eight and then hit the PRB button, and then you find the something P something, and then... You hit the permutation button, you go enter, and then you press 5, and then you go equals. What do you get? 6,720. Hey! 
You don't have to worry about this old mumbo jumbo of figuring out 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. Oh, well, that's too bad. Eight first, Claire. Claire, eight, and then permutation. That's NPR, it's permutation. Enter on that, and then five. Why is there an exclamation point? That's the factorial button. We'll use that at a different time. Okay. In geometry, polygons are labeled by placing letters at their vertices. Okay. How many ways can you label a triangle with all the letters of the alphabet? Well, how many letters of the alphabet are there? 26 letters of the alphabet. And you're going to do a permutation. And how many letters are you going to use to name the triangle? Three. So do 26 permutation three. See how big your number is. Twelve thousand six hundred different ways to name a triangle. Twelve thousand six hundred different ways to name a triangle. You could name it A B C. You could name it A B D. Oh well, all okay. right. I heard somebody wrong. Fifteen thousand six hundred. Okay. So you could name it A B C. You could name it A B D. You could name it A B E. You could name it A B F. And I could keep going. 15,600 times, okay, of different ways to name it, okay? So that's why you use a calculator. A combination of is a set of objects with no specific order. No specific order for a combination. Was anybody in here in Boy Scouts way back when? Because if you go down to Lewis and Clark, you go to Boy Scout camp and you sign up for different activities to earn merit badges. Okay. So there's all kinds of different merit badges. Okay. You could have a swimming merit badge. You could have a cooking merit badge. You could have an underwater basket weaving merit badge. No, they didn't have underwater basket weaving. I was just making a joke. Okay. What? It's a joke. You go down under the water and try to weave a basket. That wouldn't be very easy, would it? Okay. So it's a joke. Okay. But let's say there's 10 different activities and you could choose five of them. Does it matter the order that you do the activities in? No, you're just picking five things out of 10 possible. It doesn't matter that the order is chosen. Now, if you were taking classes at a high school, can you take Algebra 2 before Algebra 1? No. So order is important, like taking classes at a college or at a high school or that. But when you're just picking out like activities or maybe picking out classes your freshman year, okay? Out of all the classes available, you can pick out, you don't have to go in a certain order. So this would be 10 combination five. Now combinations are a lot bigger numbers than permutations. There's because the order doesn't matter. So you could have various orders. So 10 C five is a pretty big number. What is it? Only 252. Oh. Do 10 permutation five ones. See what you get. Oh, combinations are smaller. That's right. I've got that backwards. Combinations are smaller because the order doesn't matter, not bigger. Okay, sorry. All right. So a teacher chooses five students at random from the names shown on the, on the table there. What's the probability the five students begin with a consonant? Okay. Well, how many students are here? How many students are total on the, out of all these students? 
More than 15. 18. 18 students. It doesn't matter which order that she picks them in. But it does matter how many of them start with a consonant. How many start with a consonant? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So eighteen combination thirteen. How many different ways could she pick the students? If she's picking You know what? Hmm, I wonder if I'm doing this wrong. Because she only picks five. So she picks five students. Out of the 18, there's 13 that begin with consonants. Teach. So, she's only, what is the probability the five students begin with a consonant? So, so she does 18 combination 13, because there's 13 possible out of the 18 total. So, what is that number? So, now I'm thinking the, of the five. So, teacher choose five. Okay, and with probability, when it says probability, you're going to put a one above it. Okay? You're going to put a one above it for probability. Okay, so a permutation order is important. Combination order is not important. Okay, so when you get, you'll have a bunch of probability problems on your homework assignment. When you do a probability, it's one over the permutation or one over the combination when it's probability. If you're just one number is involved, there's only one number involved, it's going to be a factorial. So how many different ways can six blocks be arranged? Okay, well, if there's only one number involved, then that's six factorial, which is six times five times four times three times two times one. You do have a factorial button on there, on the probability button, it's six and then you probability and then you arrow over to the exclamation point and then hit enter and then that's a big number isn't it six times five times 120 720 okay so let me put out your assignment you can work your way through it um we still have a pretty good amount of time in here so work your way through that one if you didn't finish a couple of the other assignments let's get those wrapped up and done please